So children, today we will discuss about the important topic in electromagnetism, solenoid. Important topic, solenoid. Children, what is a solenoid? So children, solenoid is important topic in this electromagnetism lesson. Electromagnetism. So definition of solenoid, children. What is definition of solenoid? Means uh, circular turns of copper wire. Circular turns of copper wire wound in the shape of cylinder. Children, circular turns of copper wire wound in the shape of cylinder is called solenoid. Try to understand. Is called solenoid. Very very important topic. Solenoid every year for exam they are giving children. Solenoid circular turns of copper wire wound in the shape of cylinder. Is called solenoid. Means it's like a spring, children. You are sprinkled with an pen. It looks like a spring, like this, made of copper, and both ends are connected to battery. A plug key, everything is there. So, children, and in this, in this, in this, if you put anything like this, children, if you, this is circular turns. In this, if you put either either um, um, soft iron or steel, then children, suppose here you keep any object. It may be software you can keep or it may be steel you can keep and then pass current. Then pass current. How to pass current? Switch on, switch on children, then current will go. Once current is passed, once current is passed, children, what happens? This starts behaving like a magnet. This starts soft iron. If it is there, children, if soft iron is there, try to understand children. If it is a soft iron, if it is a soft iron, then it will become temporary magnet. Okay, and if ever it is a steel, it will become permanent magnet. Permanent magnet. If it is a soft iron, it will become temporary magnet. If it is a steel, it will become permanent magnet. Try to understand. If it is a soft iron, it will become temporary magnet. And if it is a steel, it will become permanent magnet. And children, temporary magnets are called temporary magnets are called electromagnets. Try to understand. Temporary magnets are called electromagnets. What is an electromagnet? Substance which behaves as a magnet only when current is passed. Children, what is electromagnet? Means a substance which behaves as a magnet. Substance which behaves as a magnet only when current is passed. Only when current is passed is called electromagnet. Try to understand, children. What is the electromagnet means? Uh, substance which behaves as a magnet only when current is passed. Only when you pass current, children, this behaves as a magnet. Like this current will go, children. Like this current will go. 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 And continuously current will go. And this will behave as a temporary magnet. If you keep a soft current, it will become temporary magnet. If you keep a steam permanent magnet, once it gets magnet over, children, that's it. You cannot remove that magnetism. Whereas soft iron behaves as a temporary magnet. Temporary magnets are called electromagnets. Okay, children. And inside the solenoid, magnetic field is uniform because now the magnetic field is created. Mag uniform magnetic field is represented like this, children. Uniform magnetic field is represented like this. Uniform parallel lines. Uniform magnetic field is represented by parallel lines of force. Uniform magnetic field is represented by parallel lines of force, children. So this is inside magnetic field will be there like this children. Inside magnetic field will be there like this. So try to understand what for solenoid is used. Solenoid looks like this children. Solenoid looks like this. What for solenoid is used to make electromagnet? Solenoid is used. Okay, here you have to keep a soft iron and pass the current, it behaves as a magnet. Temporary magnets are called electromagnet. What is an electromagnet? Substance which behaves as a magnet only when current is passed. Okay, children. So what are the advantages of electromagnet? Electromagnets are more advantageous than permanent magnets. Children. Electromagnets has more advantages. Number one, children, if you send current like this, here some north pole and south pole will come. If you reverse the magnet, here south pole and here north pole will come. So you can change polarity. You can change polarity. You can whenever you want, you can change polarity. Electromagnets by reversing the battery, you can change polarity. You can increase or decrease magnetic strength. Children, if you put a strong, uh, uh, powerful battery, more current will go. More, when more current is going, it will become strong magnet. And if you put a weak battery, it will become weak magnet. 
If you put a strong battery, it will become a strong magnet. If you put a weak battery, it will become a weak magnet. You can increase or decrease the power of the magnet, children. Okay, and number three, children. Okay, whenever you want increase, whenever you want decrease, you can increase or decrease your battery. <laughs> Samira, you became mad or what? Gone crazy or what? No common sense for you. You should have some common sense when you're listening to the class. What nonsense is that? So children, electromagnets, you can change the polarity. You can increase or decrease the uh, strength of the magnet. You can increase or decrease the strength of the magnet. And number three children. So uh, this is used in children. These are used in bells and alarms and in cranes, etc. etc. How it is used in cranes? All of you see here, children. How it is used in cranes? Suppose children, here a huge iron is there of say 10,000 kg. Crane. This is crane, children. This is crane. It will have a strong electromagnet here, and they will switch on the current. When you switch on the current, this will behave as a magnet, and this will go and attach us to that. And wherever you want, you can take it. After going to your respective place, you can switch off the current. Once current is switched off, then magnetism is gone. Again, this will come and fall. Whenever you want, you send the magnet. It will go and attaches it. Wherever you want, you switch off the current. It will go and detach. Wherever you want, switch on, it will attach. Wherever you want, you switch off, it will detach. So, but if it is a permanent magnet, means uh, if once it is attached, you can't detach it. And that's why the electromagnets are very useful, children. Electromagnets, okay, they are temporary, children. They are, it's made up of soft air and it is made up of soft air. And the differences between temporary and permanent magnet I have given in the description, children. You can check it properly. So, differences between soft air, electromagnets and permanent magnets. Differences between electromagnets and permanent magnets I have given briefly children. See here, these are made up of soft iron and this is made up of steel. Here you can change the polarity, here you cannot change the polarity. Here you can increase or decrease strength of magnetically, here you cannot increase or decrease. Here they are temporary and here they are permanent. Okay children, these are some of the differences between electromagnets and they are used in bells and cranes etc etc. These are used for laboratory purpose or for study purpose children. So children, what is a solenoid? Solenoid question comes means compulsory you should draw this figure. In the textbook beside the solenoid they have given this figure children. Please go through that figure. Okay, compulsory should draw figure. What is the solenoid definition? Circular turns of copper wire wound in the shape of cylinder. Circular turns of copper wire wound in the shape of cylinder is called solenoid. Circular turns of copper wire wound in the shape of cylinder. Okay, children. And magnetic field is created in the solenoid, which depends upon children. Magnetic field is created in the solenoid. All of you know that. Okay, children. Magnetic field is created, which depends upon NIA. Children, magnetic field depends upon NIA. N means number of turns. How many turns you are keeping? For the coil, how many turns you are keeping? Current, how much current you are sending? And this is area, area of the area of the field, children. Area, this is cross-sectional area. How much V is? So, so V is equal to mu naught n i a. This is the this formula is not there for your service, children. Just I'm saying, magnetic field of solenoid depends on what factors if they ask question in exam. So, magnetic field depends on what factors if they ask in the exam question, children. You please write down number of terms. Who's turns children? So my turns. So. And amount of current. Amount of current. Means if you take big battery, it will send more current. If you take small battery, it will send less current. Okay. More potential, more current from home. And area, cross-sectional area of conductor. Okay, cross-sectional area of solenoid. Cross-sectional area of solenoid. On what factors the magnetic field in solenoid depends? They will ask in the exam, children. What is mu naught? You may ask, children. It won't. They won't ask. It is called permeability, children. It's not there for your syllabus. But if they ask, on what factors magnetic field of solenoid depends? Means you write NIA. NIA means what, children? Number of turns, current area. Number of turns, current area. Number of turns, current area. So on what factors they depend, children? Number of turns, current, and area of the cross section. So these are the factors on which it depends, children. Try to understand, children. Okay. Next one.
So this is solenoid children. In exam, if questions comes, you have to write about solenoid, draw the figure, and write about the electromagnet, and explain that inside the solenoid, magnetic field is uniform. Inside the solenoid children, magnetic field is uniform. Uniform magnetic field is denoted by parallel lines. Okay, lines of force are there in the children. Uniform magnetic field is denoted by parallel lines. Uniform magnetic field is not by parallel lines, children. And on what factor the magnetic field of solenoid depends means number of turns, current, and area of the conductor. What are the advantages of electromagnetic means? You can change the polarity. Polarity means north to south, south to north, and you can increase or decrease the magnetic strength, and it is temporary. And children, one important concept, children, one important concept I want to discuss here only. Very, very important concept. So, children, here you see children. So, current is going like this, no children. Current is going like this, going like this, going like this. Children, what is this clockwise or anticlockwise? Can anyone say? Is it clockwise or anticlockwise? Clockwise. clockwise. Yes, children, this is clockwise. If ever from this from this end, if you see it is looking clockwise. If ever it is current is in clockwise, children, if ever is current is in clockwise, that is called south pole. All of you understood, children? Easy to remember. Is it clockwise, children? Is it clockwise? See, South Pole is clockwise. Yes, children. sir. And easy to remember, not if ever it is going in anti-clockwise direction, it is not, not North pole. pole. Easy to remember, children. North pole. North pole. Children, if current is going in clockwise direction, this is South Pole, means automatically this is North Pole. Okay, children. So uh, clockwise direction, clockwise is south pole children, anti-clockwise is north pole, from the name itself you will get it children, from the name itself you will get it, south S means clockwise, north N means anti-clockwise, this are important topics children, normally they won't give textbook children, you should remember all these things. Okay children, this is something about the solenoid, very very important question children, as it is you learn children, in textbook it is there, and definition, figure, everything you learn. And my points in my video, everything is kept clearly, children. You can learn from that also. Okay, children. So this is about the solenoid. Thank you so much, children. Even the worksheet I will keep in the description. Thank you.